John Carter, and I came here for erectile dysfunction therapy. Well, yeah, I, I did a lot of research about it, and I know that there are a variety of different things, but probably stem cell is the most aggressive, so I decided that I should probably do whatever I think is going to be the best opportunity for me, so that's, that's why I chose stem cell. Uh, internet. Just uh, doing some research and talking to different providers that do the same thing. And um, I think probably the probably what caused me to choose this particular clinic was that you know I got to interview the doctor, answered a lot of my questions, you know things that he said made a lot of sense. So it was the more expensive one of the options that I considered, but um, felt like it was the best choice. Not really, not really. Uh, I did some shock therapy, didn't seem to really help that much. Um, and that's why I continued to look to see for something better. No, actually it was very, uh, zero pain <laughs> at all. <laughs> so it was, that was kind of nice that way. Well, when I talked to other providers, the, you know, there, were, there was two lines of thinking. One is that they extract their own stem cells and then use those. And then the other would be to use stem cells from you know younger people, younger adults. Because stem cells, as I researched it, it doesn't depend on, you know, you don't, you don't have to have, like if you're gonna have transplants, you have to have compatible, you know, transplants, you know, organs and, and so forth. But stem cells, it's not, it's not an issue. So I just felt like, it, it made more sense to not have to use my own, but rather someone who's younger and healthy. So I like that approach a little bit better. Well, I, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm pretty used to coming to Mexico. I've been to a lot of different places. And, and so for me, it's not, I'm not concerned about it because I've been here so many times, but you just have to use common sense like any other place you travel to. And, I travel to Europe a lot and you know I, I take the same precautions wherever I go you know don't go out way late at night by yourself don't go in places where you know you're not sure you don't feel safe and but here you know we I flew into Yuma and I was there greeted by the driver they picked me up they drove me across the border you know came to the city center and and they'll take me back here you know when I when I started researching erectile dysfunction because I um, I have a girlfriend who's much younger than I am. She actually lives in Russia. And so, um, as I got older, then I was having to use Viagra, Levitra, things like that. And, and even sometimes it didn't work every time. I mean, it, it, and I didn't like taking the medication because it has side effects, but I found as I grew older, it was necessary for me to do that. And so, um, that's why I started researching stem cell, you know, therapy. And after my first treatment, I wasn't really sure what to expect. The, doc the doctor told me that a lot of people don't see a whole lot of change after the first time. And um, so one of the things I noticed after the first treatment was, well, the in one of the different things about this clinic is that they don't just directly inject stem cells to the area of treatment, but they they also give you, give you stem cells intravenously. And that, that wasn't offered in any other clinic that I looked at. And I noticed after the treatment that um, I was sleeping better, I had more energy, just an overall feeling of well-being that came from, I think, the intravenous stem cells. Um, I had some arthritis even in my fingers that went away after the first treatment. I mean, it just disappeared. And I think that, and it was, and it didn't happen until after the this, this stem cell therapy. So I think it was directly related to that. Uh, when I, so I went to see my girlfriend about, I don't know, like two weeks after my treatment. And so what I noticed was that um, I still needed a little bit of Viagra, but probably like half as much. And um, it had a surprising side effect for me that I didn't expect. And that um, so, sometimes I, especially you know, if I hadn't seen my girlfriend for a while, 
It was hard for me to not prematurely ejaculate because it just, you know, it's a while. So, you know, and and um, after the treatment, I noticed that I didn't have a problem with that at all. As a matter of fact, I just kind of, you know, had full control in that area, which which I didn't expect. And so that was nice. And the and then I didn't have to use it every day. I didn't have to use the. Um, uh, Viagra every day. I just and I used. I just cut it in half, and so um, just a complete reversal of what happened previously after I had the treatment, and I was able to to last longer. And um, my girlfriend was really she was really surprised. I mean, she she was you know pretty shocked about all of it, but. But she, I mean, she was happy about it, and I, she, I, I didn't tell her that I was doing this, and she, and she wanted to know what was different about it. So I finally told her what I was doing, and so she, she was pretty supportive. So my, my, my goal in this is to not have to use medication, you know. So I'm, I'm really hoping I'll be seeing her again. Actually, we're taking, I'm taking her to Cancun in three weeks. So we'll be, I'll be coming back here for my last treatment right before we meet again, it's about three or four days ahead of time. And so um, I won't see her in between now and then, but but that, that's kind of, that's that's what I'm hoping for. And so it, it was, I, I, I would do it again, you know, in our peak. I mean, I, I have no regrets about it. And, um, you know, I, I, I expect better things from, this treatment and follow-up treatment, so pretty excited about, about it. Yeah, I, I, you know, the doctor couldn't guarantee me that I'd have to ever be without medication, but um, I sort of expect that that's the, what'll happen um, based on after the first time. And the doctor told me, he said, you know, he, I guess my case was a bit unusual because I, well, a lot of people don't see any improvement after the first time, but. But I mean, I, I had noticeable improvement. It wasn't just like a little, it was a lot. <laughs> this is probably the most aggressive treatment for erectile dysfunction that you can get. Aggressive treatment means that, <clears throat> you know, for erectile dysfunction, you can simply just take medication, not do anything. Um, you, you can change your diet, which I have, I, I've, already, I've always eaten healthy. I, I'm not overweight. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't take any other medication. So I'm already, you know, pretty healthy. I exercise a lot. Um, but, you know, there, there's some, um, there's a thing called PRP treatment, shockwave therapy. I did those and it didn't work for me. It didn't change anything. And that was a lot less expensive than doing this, but it didn't work. You know, so I, I um, just kept looking. And if this didn't work, then I'd just have to be satisfied with using medication. But I just felt like um, there had to be a way to, to, to solve this problem without having to use medication. And, and so far, for me, it looks like that's what's going to happen, or at least a lot less medication. I think if you really want to solve the problem, that you know, you should you should go with the most aggressive therapy. And um, you know, everybody's going to have a different experience. But I, I know for me, it it worked. And I'm expecting more, you know, from the subsequent treatments. You know, just had my second treatment uh, yesterday, and um, um, you know, it is—it's—it's it's the most expensive treatment for sure. But for me, just for me, it was—it's worth every penny. I—I'd I, do it over again, and even though I haven't had all three, I'd still, you know, if I knew what was going to happen after the first time, I'd—I'd I'd do it again.